Show me all anomalies in the last seven days with over a 90% confidence rate. Showing all anomalies from the past seven days with confidence, G90%. All right, so we got a lot of anomalies to go through here. And if any of them stand out, let's start adding them to our comparison tables. So I like that one, the NORAD ID 60327. Let's do this orbit lower maneuver here and maybe this high delta V maneuver. And let's hop over and view the charts. We got two sections. We have a simple uh, single element time series plotted over an element over time. And then we have some more advanced charts for uh, some more senior operators that they'd be familiar with. Well, these are high orbit satellites? Yes, yes, these aren't LEO. I, I specifically have a nice Starlink that we're gonna take a look at uh, that has doing some interesting stuff. So an example here, we could start zooming in on something. Lots going on here. So we can get down into the nitty gritty, zoom back out, uh, take a look at these single element series, zoom in on a specific time frame, zoom back out. And let's actually take a look at the LEO satellite that I wanted to take a look at. Let's check out NORAD ID 57782 in 3D. So it's gonna load up that Starlink satellite that I thought was interesting, and it's gonna load that into a software package that space operators might be familiar with called Keep Track. And we're running that right in Guru, and Guru is actually controlling the software package. So the actions that we're making in Guru and the 2D charts will actually start happening in the software package. So it pulled up the Starlink for us. Uh, we can actually see a little bit of Opening the debris around the globe. Five seven seven eight two, in the three D keep track view for you. We can see the orbit around the globe currently, and if we click into the satellite, we actually get a quick view of some identifiers, the orbital data, and we can do uh, a two D plotted across the globe and see the exact track of everything that's happening. And the kind of capability that we're showing here is so important because there's an exponential increase in the number of satellites going to orbit these days. Yep. Um, and uh, Space Force Guardians uh, need to use their time and mental bandwidth yep. for what they care about most. They don't want to manually look at thousands of satellites in multiple orbits. Arming them with an intelligent system that's able to isolate the ones that are doing something anomalous the ones that are maneuvering, furthermore, analysis of what the maneuvers are and the likely conjunction risks that might fall out of those types of maneuvers is what we're doing to enable them to perform their duties effectively. Yeah, and they're so talented, they don't need to waste their time focusing on all these things that aren't really doing much, and they need to be focusing on the things that we detect so that they can determine whether or not to take some action on it. Let's see if there's any orbit lower maneuvers in the last 24 hours. Show me all orbit lowering maneuvers in the last 24 hours. Wow, we got a lot. Displaying all orbit lowering maneuvers detected in the last 24 hours. So let's just go and let's take the top few and let's plot those on some 2D charts. Let's do a lot. And let's just plot them on some simple single element. And the semi major axis is doing quite a bit here. So, whether you're a government Space Force guardian or you're a commercial operations person, this kind of intelligence that you're arming with the ground control operations people is a game changer for them to be able to handle the satellite traffic and quickly deduce which ones they should be focusing on most and mm -hmm. what that analysis means. And it's also a game changer for live flight uh, decisions. Uh, so the same system that we've been delivering to Space Systems Command for ground control, ultimately we're working on a light version that ultimately people will be able to fly on board spacecraft. Right. 
Yeah, and, and I mean, this just helps space operators get straight to the point. They don't have to look at all of this data that's in different formats, comes from different places. They can just use Guru, and it's right there, and they can get specifically to what's important. Everything's labeled, it's clear, we can do filtering, remove certain satellites, add them back in. It's kind of fun to use, <laughs> and we can integrate in with any software package to, uh, to supplement the 2D charts that we offer. We're extracting reduced data and plotting it in a com comprehensive, integrated manner, but also we're driving other people's software like Keep Track to present visualizations in a form that ground control operators are already used to. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Let's check out some orbit raising maneuvers. Show me all orbit raising maneuvers detected in the last 24 hours. Great, we have Showing a whole lot. Showing all orbit raising maneuvers detected in the last 24 hours. We have a whole lot to choose from, and similarly to our orbit lowering maneuver, comparison. Let's do that for some orbit raising, see if we can't identify exactly where that's taking place. So viewing all those orbit raising maneuvers, let's take a look and see if we can't identify exactly where one of those might have taken place. Let's head down to this eccentricity chart and we have quite a bit plotted across here. So let's actually filter that down into maybe one. And yeah, right there. So we can see it started climbing about 12 on January 8th. And then a little bit after the ninth, we can see it peaked and lowered back down. If we head over to the 3D visualization, we should see everything that we plotted in 2D currently around the globe. And Fantastic. Which, which satellite is that? Um, so that one is NORAD ID. Let's pull this back here. So it's 55131? Yeah. OK, great. Um, yeah, let's let's take a look at that 55131. Which satellite is that? Yeah, so 55131. Pulling that up. Looks like that didn't load it. And let's go. Let's actually take a look. 55131. Looks like the SJ23. Looks like a Chinese satellite in a high orbit. High orbit. We can see exactly where it's been going. Performing some maneuvers. And let's click into it, and we can see some interesting information about the payload, the country China, the launch site, the launch vehicle. and then some of our orbit guard charts here. Perfect. Nice. 